installing your precision parabolic damper on your Honda CRF. Start by removing your top triple clamp. Ensure that the steering moves freely. If not, you may want to loosen the stem nut using a spanner wrench. Pry the frame mount clamp open with a screwdriver. Slide it over the frame and make sure it nests in securely. Install the 6mm screw into the front of the clamp using blue Loctite. Torque it to 11 newton meters. If your pivot dog rubs on the casting seam, you may need to grind down or file down the seam until the pivot dog does not rub any longer. Reinstall your top triple clamp and torque all your bolts to the factory specifications. Now it's time to install the damper. Slide the pin into the pivot dog. You may need to turn the handlebars to make it fit. Slide the damper over the handlebars and install the back clamp. Make sure the damper is centered between your clamps. Rotate the damper to the proper angle. If your handlebars are in the stock factory position, that will be about a 17 degree angle from the top of the triple clamp. The position you run your handlebar clamps will determine the angle that you need to mount your parabolic damper at. The closer to the rider you run your handlebar clamps, the more angle you will need on your damper. The further away from the rider, the flatter or more parallel they will be to the triple clamps. If mounted correctly, there should be very little pivot in the pivot dog, just a few millimeters. Here the handlebar clamps are away from the rider and you can see the damper is parallel to the triple clamps. Check that you can hit both steering stops. Do not use your damper for a steering stop. Then check to make sure that the center of the lever is not going past the notch on the housing. Check both sides. If they are not even, you may need to slide the damper slightly left or right. For demonstration purposes, we have not put the boot on, but here we're going to show you how it should look with the boot on. The boot protects the greased joints. Safety wear may be used on the boot but do not over tighten it. We hope this video was informative. You can get more information online at precision-rp.com.